welcome to my channel P Concepts CHM. This is the fifth part of the series on viscosity. Here we will see measuring the coefficient of viscosity by the Stokes method. Observe this figure. Here we have a clean long test tube TT. It contains the experimental transparent viscous liquid whose viscosity is to be determined. The density of the liquid we are denoting as sigma. There is a thermometer T immersed in this water bath W to measure the temperature of the bath. There is this steel ball uh, having radius R mass is m and uh, density we are denoting as rho. So, this uh, test tube TT it is fitted into this water bath W. On the test tube you can see that uh, there are three equidistant marks x, y, z. Uh, this is just below this uh, tube dropping TD through which you will be put, uh, dropping the this uh, steel ball. We will measuring the distance between x, y and y, z. This distance uh, x, y is equal to y, z and we are denoting it as small d. So, the small uh, spherical metal ball is uh, dropped in this tube T, d. And we will uh, note down the time interval T uh, taken by the ball to pass through this length uh, x y and this length y z it is noted with the help of a stopwatch. The process is repeated till the time intervals both these time intervals that is between x y and y z uh, both they become equal. We will note the temperature of the liquid also as uh, the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid it depends upon the temperature. So, when both the times will become equal we can say that uh, the uh, it has each achieved the uh, or attained the velocity constant velocity called as a terminal velocity. So, now knowing these uh, we can find these uh, or we can we know by knowing the values r m eta and uh, the t that we are measuring and uh, d that can be calculated. Uh, we can find this uh, the density of the solid rho which will be equal to m upon the volume, volume we are we can find as 4 by 3 pi r cube. Terminal velocity can be found as v is equal to the length d divided by the time that we are noting down. We can determine the coefficient of the viscosity. For that we can use this formula which we had seen in the earlier well, uh, in the earlier uh, video that is v is equal to 2 r square into rho 0 minus rho into g upon 9 eta v is the terminal velocity. If we rearrange this uh, we can find here this eta from this formula. So, rearranging this formula we get this formula eta and uh, v will come in the denominator v we are substituting this as d upon t and uh, the densities we are denoting here as a rho this is the density of the solid and a sigma is the density of the liquid. So, this way you can find the coefficient of viscosity. The precautions that are to be taken during the experiment that we should measure the velocity when it is constant. We will prefer a perfectly spherical ball the and the liquid must be transparent. So, if we observe this formula, if you can rearrange this formula such that uh, this T will 
come in the numerator and we get r square into t. So, this r square upon t will be a constant for a given sphere and a liquid provided the temperature t is steady. 